So what I have here, I have a flange, a razor flange, and here what I have, if you can look carefully, I have the two screws, the washers, okay, and the nuts also, as you can see here, and a plastic washer here. Okay, now I'm going to actually install it. You can see how easy it is to install this fluid master on this toilet uh, flange. So this is a, a new toilet and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove it. Okay, what do you see? You see a flange here. Okay, and this flange is above the floor. Okay, so if it's above the floor, I don't really need this razor, okay, because the flange is already above the floor. And this floor is pipe floor. First, put the two screws. Second, make sure the screws are in the same distance from the wall. So as you can see, here is 11 inch and that is also 11 inch. Okay. Now I'm taking the two washer, plastic washer. And After I pull it, I just pull the screw, that the screw will not move. That is the Fluid Master flange. You take the flange and you just pull it in. You see there are two holes in the flange. Make sure it's in. And now, take this. And aim it, you know, to the screw here. That's it. And what we have to do now, just lock it, okay, with the nuts. So we'll do it now. Not sure it's inside, you know. I will let you know something. See this toilet? It's locking because it's not really uh, tight now. And if I'm going to pull it here, I cannot because the toilet um, circle is inside the flange of the fluid master, so that's good. So if you push too well here and too well here, it won't be able to push. But pull it like that, any power I apply, I won't be able to move it. So that shows you that it's inside. So I already put here the screw here you don't see it but i'm going to show you from here okay so that's the screw here as you can see and if you look very carefully here you can see the blue color of the flange okay so here i already put the screw you don't see it so i'm going to show you how i'm going to do it here
that's it. You close it tight, but not so tight. So after you attach it with screws, attach it tight, but not so tight, try to move, try to shake this toilet. You can see it cannot be shaken too much. So if you shake a little bit, you can use, sometimes the floor is not level, you can use shims for it, but that's now, it's, it's good. And I just screw it. And that's it, it's done. Now what I have to do, I have to take this cable and connect it here to this toilet. Okay, we did it. Now I can turn on the water and see what happened. So the most important thing to check if you don't have any leak. As you can see, no leak whatsoever here. And here. Remember, I didn't put silicone yet, but just want to make sure there is no leak here. That's it, so that's the job. Done. Take five minutes. Thank you very much for watching this video.